God bless you once again. Hallelujah. Welcome to Living Health Quality with Dr. Gerald Johnson. We pastor the city, I'm sorry, the Greater Harvest Church of God in Christ, located at 1144 Olive, 1144 Olive in the city of Long Beach. And we're excited to be here with you today. Living Health Quality. Thank you, Jesus. You know, it is, it is imperative that uh, all men are created equal and have an opportunity for quality of life, quality of life. And what does that really mean? Quality of life. Hallelujah. To live life and be able to pursue happiness. And that word happiness, I'll interchange it with the word joy. Hallelujah. So uh, life, to live life in a pursuit of joy. Hallelujah. And God gave each and every man the opportunity to choose. And I thank God for this day. Amen. Whom will you choose this day? I will. We will choose to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Who will you follow this day? I choose and prayerfully we choose to follow the Lord. Ha! Ah, whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Understanding that God is good. God is kind. God is just. God is all powerful. God is everywhere at the same time. No matter where we may find ourselves, no matter what we may find ourselves doing, I can report to you. And I believe that you can testify with me also that God is always forever with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being with us on today. Thank you for the Living Health Quality Show. Thank you for the Kissimmee, K-I-S-I-M-E dot com. Amen. Thank you for the company that provides the resources that we will be able to come to you week after week. And we are excited about what God is doing here. And we're exciting about, we're excited about what God is doing everywhere. We thank you for kissing me. We thank you for Kennedy Coffee. Praise God by dialing 714487 at the bottom of your screen. You can see it 42. Four, one. That's a direct line to the president and founder of this company, which it has a lot of different, uh, praise God, herbal based, I repeat, herbal based, natural based uh, additives to our Kennedy Coffee and also the Cordy X. There are several pastors that are on the Cordy X and those who are drinking coffee, amen. You're drinking the coffee. So we have our uh, e a double espresso, praise God, which this is just black, regular coffee, nothing added to it. Hallelujah. This is our cappuccino. And in our cappuccino, we have the milk and sugar added. Both of these, they come in boxes, amen, 25 packs per box, amen, which is less than a dollar a cup for a cup of coffee. And that's absolutely Great for coffee drinkers. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I do drink occasionally now, and it's good too. Uh, I drink the cappuccino, which it tastes like hot chocolate when you mix, mix it correctly. And uh, well, there's no wrong way of mixing it. When I say mix it correctly, I mean mixing it according to what your taste buds accept. So now we have taste, but it's just not the taste, amen. And what makes this really good is that it has El Tanai, Amen. And it has cordyceps and then the daily prescribed healthy dose of caffeine, which is 75 milligrams. So we truly thank and praise God for these products. So kissami.com, you will find a host of products out there and everything on the list that you see out there has a natural base. It's an herbal based product. So hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for that being so. Amen. I just want to say to you, those who follow, amen, 
We just give a brief shout out and asking for your patience with the Sunday morning. Uh, we're live at Greater Harvest on Sunday mornings and last Sunday morning the crew came in with a brand new camera and that camera was the ultimate great camera, great picture, but there's a programming glitch in there where uh, it would pop off and on and then there was also the sound that wasn't good. So we're believing and trusting God that all that is going to be right, amen, this Sunday coming because the crew was so, so, amen, apologetic <clears throat> because of those technical difficulties. But today, here we are at Kissimmee, and I'm excited about being in the land of the living. We can rise, shine, and give God the glory, amen, because God is still God. There's some things that are going on in our nation, praise God, and we are in a nation of unrest and being in this place of unrest, praise God, we take our place, amen, as the church. And we're excited about being the church in these last and evil days because things and business as usual has got to change. There's no more business as usual. What we've got to understand is that our nation is in a place. The, the world is in a place. There's been nothing like this since the dogs were released and water hoses. People were being shot with water hoses, amen, and the dogs attacking people, hallelujah, eh, in the 60s. When that came forward, praise God, the ugly America, that's right, the ugly America was put on the world stage. And uh, since the pandemic, the global pandemic, where medically we have been shut down and, and boxed in and locked in our homes, staying safe at home, praise God, there's been <clears throat> uh, emotional, emotional instability. And coming out now, amen, we're being shot down, we're being hung, praise God, there are two hangings, hallelujah, about 15 miles, 15, 20 miles apart here and in California is lynchings, hallelujah, every place else there's, there's shootings. And it sends a, an, an all cry. And for today, I, I, wanna, I wanna do something. I'm not going to sing it, praise God, but I'm going to remind us, remind us, uh, Dr. James Welton Johnson. And what did he say? He said, lift every voice and sing. Hallelujah. Till hell, I'm sorry, till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud, loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of faith that the dark past has taught us. And yes, we're still in some dark futures right now. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. We still have hope. Yes, in losing Taylor. Yes, in losing Floyd. Yes, in losing Richard. Yes, in lo losing Aubrey. There's still hope, amen. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun. We gotta realize that every day is a brand new day. Every day is an opportunity for us to get up and try it again. Let us march on till victory is won. When we march, saints of the most high God, even though violence and evil, uh, up evil has threatened us, has beset us, has come upon us as every time a family experiences this, one of the families, hallelujah, that has experienced it in the past has to relive their situation all over. The names will change. The names have changed, but the abuse, but the racism, the hatred, the violent taking of lives, is continuing on. That's why we need to march 
on. That's why we need to take a stand. And the stand that we take is a stand that bi biblically God has, has lifted us. God has, has raised us. Amen. In this nation. Verse 2, Mr. Weldon wrote, Stony, the road that we tried. And yes, yeah, the road is full of stones. Yes, we find ourselves, amen, having to walk these rough roads. And none has walked the rough road as the families who this directly impact. Yes, it's impact us all, but every family, amen, the biological family, praise God, that has had to grip, be gripped with pain and been numb, being able to uh, see and to hear and to, to know that you can't even begin to feel where you are. Stony, the road we trod, bitter, the chastening rod. Well, we must continue to move forward. Felt in the days when hope unborn had died. Don't allow our hope to die. We have a hope, but our hope is not in the White House. Our hope is not in the Senate. Our hope is not in the House of Representatives. Our hope is not in the court system. Our hope is not built in the judicial system. Our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. And we dare not trust the sweetest fame, but we wholly, wholly lean on Jesus' name. So it's on Christ, the solid rock we stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. We must stand on the word of God. I believe that the word comes as a lamp unto our feet and as a light unto our path. And we, the body of Christ, will be held accountable from day in to day out by the heavens to be faithful to the word of God. And his word, the song says, the word gives us hope and higher hope, higher, higher hope in him. Thank you, Jesus. Felt in the days when hope unborn had died, yet with a steady beat, have not our weary feet, hallelujah, come to the place for which our fathers sighed. We're yet sighing, we're yet crying. I believe when we are crying here in every state in the union, I believe as we are crying here across this nation, I believe as we are crying here globally around the world, I believe that God is hearing our cry now. I believe that his ear are inclined to hear. So we've come to the place for which our fathers have sighed. Ah, there were tears, amen. There were marches, praise God. There were things going on that would remind us that we must be steady. Yet with a steady beat, a steady beat, only God can give us that necessary beat, praise God, that will cause us to move forward in him. Yet with a steady beat, have not our weary feet come to the place for which our fathers sighed. We have come over a way that with tears has been watered. Hallelujah. We've come treading our path through the blood of the slaughtered. Yes, slaughtered. Through the blood of the slaughtered. Through the blood of the slaughtered. Yes, our young men and young women lay uh, dying and blood gushing out of their bodies from, from gunshot. Hallelujah. We began to see that we, amen, can sigh. We've come over a way that which the tears have been watered. We've come treading our path through the blood of the slaughtered. You know, things will not happen. 
Nothing can change. It must be the shedding of blood. Hallelujah. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that this blood was shed in the name of Jesus. The blood was shed through hatred. The blood was shed through one moment of indiscretion. Amen. And the outcome is that we've lost fathers. We've lost sisters. We've lost brothers. We've lost relatives. There's been a loss. Hallelujah. And at every loss that comes at a cost, something must change. There is no business as usual. We can't go on doing and thinking the same way, doing the same things that we used to, because that is not going to be the case. Hallelujah. Things come to pass. There must, it must come to pass. Amen. Racism is right here. Systematic racism is right here, but it comes to pass. Hallelujah. Come to pass. God of our weary years. Don't be weary in well-doing, but God has been with us. God is going to continue to be, a, be with us through the thick and the thin. God is going to be with us. God of our silent, hallelujah, tears. Thanking God, amen, for the many tears, the tears that are shed inside, the tears that are never seen, the tears, praise God, that comes from a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, an aunt, an uncle. Tears, amen. Tears, tears, tears. Hallelujah. Very, very important. God of our silent tears. Don't allow this to bundle up inside of us and we, hallelujah, lose sight of the process. There is a process, saints of the Most High God. That process is called voting. That process has taken on so many different turns down through the years. Get to the polls. Get out to the polls. If we want something to change, we must be the part of that change and submit our requests. Hallelujah. Submit our requests unto the Lord and God will help us and move us through it. Praise God. Though thou who has brought us, brought us thus far on the way. Who thou who hath, thou who has by tiny might led us into the light. Keep us forever in thy path, we pray. Lest our feet stray from the places, our God, where he met thee, Lest our fathers drunk with the wine of the world, we forget thee. Shadow it beneath thy hand. May we forever stand true to our God, true to the God of our native land. Hallelujah. I felt good uh, in bringing that, bringing our our anthem to us praise God this morning just helping to remind us praise God of who we are we are a people who are noble we are people who have a place in this society God has established and put us here and now we call on the wisdom of the Holy Ghost to lead us and guide us where you would want us to be I'm going to tell you saints of the most high God we're in churches and we are intertwined. Amen. If you look at the Olympics, you look at the circles, the three circles, how they touch each other. Saints to the Most High God, we're supposed to touch each other as the circles are touching each other on this paper. And I am blessed and better than blessed because of what the Lord has done in us and through us. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. We must not remove God out of the equation. We must trust God, as the scriptures say, all the way from earth to glory. We must trust God all, all, all of the way. So we have Mr. Jordan. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. We have that. Amen. And we have the fact that there is so, so much Hallelujah. At stake. We're living in the last and evil days. And this year, amen, 
is the year where we break out into another century. So one century closes and another century opens it up. As the Spirit of the Lord had laid on my heart some months ago, the Spirit of the Lord laid on my heart that we, as a generation, in order for a generation to come and survive, there must be a generation that leaves the scene. So we're thankful and grateful. We're not uh, trying to be God and what happening and what should be seen and how should it be, hallelujah, broken down. That's not why we're here. We're here to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, the hallelujah, the, the birth, the life, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanking God every step, step, step of the way. God has been so good to us. Psalm 94 says, Lord, as the Lord will help me. We got to remind ourselves that the Lord wants to help you. The Lord wants to help me. In all of our endeavors, God wants to help. We got to invite God in to help. And when God gives us what to do, amen, hallelujah, to him who know to do that and don't do it, to him it is sin. We are thankful and grateful for the leadership of our church, thankful and grateful for the Bishop Charles Edward Blake, thankful and grateful, praise God, to uh, the Bishop Lyles and all those in leadership, amen, our Bishop, Bishop Joe Lewis Ely, who's right here with us in the thick of things, amen, moving right along. We pray and we thank God for the blessings of the brethren, that the brethren have been given assignments, praise God, to go out and to do what they do. And we're thankful for that. And we are blessed and better than blessed, praise the Lord. But we know that our nation is in a place of devastation. We know our nation is in a place that it has been before, but it's never been projected in so many mediums as now. And I praise God for that because you know something? I was reminded 10, 50 years ago, if this had happened, it wouldn't be here sitting, amen, in a studio, nor would we be able to be on a call because the call of God for, for his people is that if my people who are called by my name will humble. Yes, I've got to humble myself. I'm responsible for what I do. Amen. You're responsible for what you do. You can't say that I did this because Mr. Potato did this to me. So now I'm retaliating as such. So we thank you for True Broadcasting Channel. Thank you for the sponsorship. And thank you for everything that's been done decently and in order. Hallelujah. Promising, hallelujah. Promised, hallelujah, in the mind. Promise. You know when somebody promises you something and reneges on that promise or doesn't get that promise? You don't forget that. You don't forget that. And we have been promised things down through the years. Uh, and we've not gotten those things that we have been promised. And so what we are looking to do is to upgrade our systems in the name of Jesus, so that we can receive promises. Upgrade our system, hallelujah, the system of my mind, so that I would be able, you will be able to meet your full potential. And God is awesome. God is worthy to be praised. Aren't you excited about that? Hallelujah, aren't you excited about that? So when we put, hallelujah, the Olympic circles together, the, the three circles, they're touching at some point. And what we want to do, praise God, is to see and understand that we may be encircled round about something, but our circle should be big enough that when the Holy Ghost is inspired to come, praise God, that the Holy Ghost can get in and, and, and get in and have his way. And that's what we're believing God for on today. I want to read something to you, praise God. Freedom in the mind, having a healthy mind, praise God, absence of mental, ment mental disease, being almost to function normally on a day-to-day -day basis. Hallelujah. By leaving 
healthy, hallelujah, by leaving healthy relationships with family, friends, hallelujah, and other members, being able to work, praise God, being able to work whatever they may be, whatever that might be on your, on your, wherever you may be in the land of the living, understanding whether it's spirit, understanding whether it's mind, understanding whether it's body, which brings us to the universal signal symbol of our of our Olympics. And in that you'll see the three circles. And in that you'll see there's a space in the middle that forms a triangle. So if you are writing, praise God, I just would like for you to write in there, will wellness center, wellness center, believing and trusting God that he is going to establish the wellness center. Once we do what's required of us to do, then we'll do it. Hallelujah. God is looking for a few good men. Hallelujah. And God wants to use each and every one of us to capacity. Say it with me, capacity. God wants to use each and every one of us to our full, hallelujah, capacity. In that capacity, praise God, God wants to build us. God wants to build us up even through all of the trauma. Hallelujah. And the trauma that we're facing is not a self-induced comma. It's a comma, praise God. It's, it's a karma. It's a time, praise God, where we got to come out of the stupor. We got to wake up. Amen. And we've got to trust in the name of the Lord. That's why redigging of the wells of revival is very, very important. If we got to go and redig wells, Saints of the Most High God, we will see, praise God, that the water is just going to flush out. If a river has been blocked up and stopped up at some point, but if there be enough of a foothold, praise God, to break into the dam that was created, oh, hallelujah, amen, we can move on because that drought is as good as gone. Hallelujah. We never saw, amen such a thing, such an amazing thing that's taking place right now. Thank you, Jesus. When we begin to look at the spirit, the mind, and the body, and all in one, but separate, praise God, we can begin to move into the freedom in the mind. Freedom in your mind. Freedom in your mind. And I know we can touch us like the dead mission would say, bless the mind, bless the mind, bless the mind. We will be able to see that God is working on our behalf. If we ask God to free up some things and pull back the curtain and allow you to see in, see the hatred, hallelujah, see those things that are going on in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just ask that you would bring us, hallelujah. Your word said you would bring us before great men. So there are men and women of God out here that have a calling on their lives and they need to step forward. Hallelujah. In Jesus name, step forward. Praise God. Understanding that God is in control. Every step of the way, God is in control. And God says, you're not forgotten. You are not forgotten. You are not forgotten because God has a plan still for you. Amen. For all you families who have experienced this, just believe God and know that God's got your back. God got your back every step of the way. He's got your back coming. He's got your back going. He's on the left. He's on the right. God is everywhere. And we're thankful. We're thankful. We're thankful and grateful. Hallelujah. Thankful and grateful. Thankful and grateful thankful and grateful and believe in God and trust in God all the way. Because this day is a new day, the dawn of a new day. Praise God. And we're thanking God every step of the way. So we're lifting up the families in the name of Jesus, lifting up those families and trusting God and believing God. Church has got to change. There's not, this church will not be the church, hallelujah. When we come back, 
The church has got to take on the role that I believe God has designed. Amen. If we look back over our shoulders, praise God, the church was the marketplace. Everything started and stopped with the church. Hallelujah. We've gotten a little far away from that mode right now. We may stop at the church, but we don't look at the church for being able to help. But saints of the most high God, there is a help for you. Amen. There is help for you. So coming back, praise God, post COVID-19, we're talking about church, community, and partnerships. Saints of the most high God, you have to be willing to come out of your bubble, hallelujah, your safety net, thank you Jesus, and be a part of this hallelujah, wonderful event. Church, community, partners, innovation, education, wellness, and my word, resilience, resilience, resilience. And the definition for resilience is being able to come back quickly from a difficult situation. Come back quickly from a di difficult situation. I'm not talking about the families. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about the biological families who've lost loved ones. I'm talking about us, praise God, who've been behind the internet. Hallelujah. Watching, talking about those that have been us out there that's not been out. There is something we can do. Innovation, education, wellness, and resilience. Something happens that's very difficult in your life, but you were able to recover from it. I know this is the first time that we're experiencing this at this level in this generation and generations back. But this is real and we need to prepare our people for it. And how do we do that? We arm them with education. And that's why we church is important to me. We church is important and the share is important because what you do for one you're going to have to do for the other. And I thank God in teaching me that lesson. Praise God. So the power of community partnerships, moving beyond trauma, amen, resilience, and self-care. Take charge of your future. Take charge of your future. Goal setting by goal setting and life skills. Pathways to education, influence, career, entrepreneur, service learning, and the service and the servant leadership. So we thank God for every bit of that, amen, that we're coming back better. We're coming back different. We're coming back revived. We're coming back charged. We're coming back believing God every, 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 every step of the way. And God is still good as we're stepping. God is good as we're marching down the streets in these cities. Hallelujah. We pray a prayer of protection, Father God, around each and every person out there. It was once quoted, and I heard this quote years and years and years ago. And the quote said that, that evil persists. Evil is persistent when good men do nothing. So we can do something. First of all, we pray to the Lord at the harvest, but we don't allow prayer to be, the, to be, hallelujah, a crutch for faith. We've got to put some feet to our faith and get out and walk and talk. Feet to faith in the name of Jesus, because God has blessed us, praise God, with life, health, and strength. So we leave that narr narrative and go to the front where we know that God really loves us, and he loves us all all 360 of me and you, God loves. Briefly, I just want to look and touch over one other basis as our internet time is drawing near to a close, not close yet, but drawing near to for a close, praise God. He was a man, an activist, a prominent leader of the civil rights movement in America. He played the integral role in moving the segregation of African Americans in South America for his, uh, for his uh, discount, distinguished, praise God, efforts and achievements, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. 
talking about none other than Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. Praise God. If, if, cannot, if I cannot do great things, can I do small things in a great way? Saints to the Most High God, if we can't do great things, well, let's do small things in a great way. Small things in a great way. I can't lose it. Hallelujah. Can't, can't reprove it, but just take what we have, doing small things in a great way. We've touched, amen, uh, every area that I wanted to touch on today, uh, with the exception of redigging the wells of revival. Hallelujah. Redigging the wells of revival. God wants us revived. Hallelujah. Abraham's son Isaac, praise God. The Holy Ghost brought to his memory and then, and then energized it. Hallelujah. And praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They were able to, to, to move forward in a way that God really blessed the two of them. Being able to move forward. Hallelujah. In, in God in Christ, the way that he would want us to move forward. There are many stories of testimony of what God has been doing in these last and evil days in the midst of the pandemic. And the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Isaiah digged again the wells of revival. Isaiah dug again the wells of, of revival. So here it is, Abraham, in that 26th chapter, verses 17 to 33, where Abraham, I'm sorry, uh, where Abraham wells were dug. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now here comes the man of God, Isaac, redigging wells. We got to dig up. Hallelujah. We got to dig in and then we got to dig up. We got to dig in and be ready for the long haul that nothing surprises us. And then we have to continue to move forward in God. These four, hallelujah, hallelujah. Verse 33 says, of your wells of springing water dug in a valley to feed families and flocks. Isik means strife, hallelujah. Sitna means hatred and Rehoboth means room. God got room for us. Thank you, Jesus. God got room for us. Hallelujah. And in God having room for us, amen, we can redig those wells. We can redig the wells of revival. These four names are known. Praise God. Hallelujah. The names of these wells were significant. Praise God. Of four wells of springing water dug in a valley to feed families and flock. Isaac means strife. Hallelujah. Sitna means hatred. Thank you. Reboha means room. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God said, I'll make room for you. God said, I'll make room for you. When you have begun life, hallelujah, when you began life, praise God, you found people trying to put you down by saying that the well was theirs. Hallelujah. People will say anything, praise God. People will say anything. Hallelujah. Mm. When you began life, you found people trying to put you down by saying the well was theirs and that you were, that, that you were crowning yourself among the ground. If they did not try to put you down, you tried to put them down. So that's not the way that God designed it to be. The well is there in life. The well is there in strife. The well is there in, uh, to establish uh, conditions. The well is there to monitor debate. You must find it in your somewhere where that well is because the wells, the wells, the wells, the wells, uh, Isaac had an idea where the wells were. 
because he walked with his father or watched his father from afar off and being able to, in his mind, amen, chart out these things is just simply amazing. It wasn't a blueprint. It wasn't this or that kind of print, praise God, but it was something that was required. Saying to the Most High God, God is requiring us, praise God, to love mercy, to live upright before the Lord, so that when God comes, praise God, he's coming back and he wants to find us faithful. He wants to find us faithful. Hallelujah. If you drive people, hallelujah, of off the ground, they may strive with you no more. Thank you, Lord. They will hate you. Your name will be the gentle, the signal of abuse. Saying to the Most High God, there's no abusing here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. None here, Lord. You are hated. So you call Sana, hatred, the second well. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are great on today. Thank you. If you come to the third season, if you were not killed, you were hated, but you kept digging away. And at last, room is made. And the room is only big enough for us, the body of Christ. You're hated, but you keep digging away at the well. And at last, at last, room is made for you. The room is made for us. There's room for us. Reboga, room for us. You are recognized, looked for, and missed if you could not, if you do not come. Saints to the Most High God, we got to come back to the old landmark. Hallelujah. Take me back. Take me back to the Lord, to the place where I first receive you. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I'd rather be gone. Thank you, Jesus. Take us back. 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 There is, hallelujah, a time when generations were united by common labor and common joy. But in this generation we're in now, we've been linked together by judgment. We're being linked together by, by laws. We're being linked together by anything that's derogatory that may be used against us. And so we begin to look at generations united by a common labor. Thank you. What we're looking at, praise God, hallelujah, the existing generations succeed to the labors of those who are gone. Hallelujah. It's like paying it forward. Jesus Christ paid it forward with his own blood. Jesus Christ paid it forward so that we, amen, could come and stand and witness and proclaim and to serve. It serves, it serves to, to will all generations in an account, in an interest-bearing account. It serves as a guarantee of progress in the quality of human life and how it's viewed and seen. Hallelujah. The existing generations enter on the enjoyments of those that are gone. We're standing on the shoulders of giants and the giants of our yesteryear. Amen. The giants of this year and the giants before us. We shape and we claim the victory in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. Father God, we take this moment to bow our heads in the name of Jesus. We believe in you, God. We have faith in you, God. And we hope and help you to be a breakthrough. And Father, there's none like you. In the name of Jesus, there's only one God, our Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for the lives. Thank you, Father God, for the blood that was spilled. Thank you, Father God, for the hurt and the aftermath of pain everywhere. Thank you, Father God, for being able to move, being able to grow, 
being able to know that you are God. Hallelujah. You are God. And in the place of you being God, there is none. Hallelujah. So we lift up holy hands in the sanctuary. We bless your name because God, you are wonderful. God, you are good. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to get it, praise God, that when we are online, amen, you'll be able to shoot your questions in, praise God. We'll be able to interact a little bit. We got a special guest coming tomorrow to be with us, amen, from 12 to 1. Thank you, Jesus. And we believe in God for even more, amen. All lives matter in the name of Jesus. All lives matter in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we just thank you. We just thank you that a, a sparrow doesn't fall from the sky. We thank you, Father God, that there is not a lock of hair that we can pull from, from our human follicles in our hair that you are not a man privy to. So thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for the life, the life that was lived. Thank you, Father God, as we begin to understand nothing but believe you, we are fed up with the maltrust. We are fed up, hallelujah, being the highest percentage in prisons. According to the 13th Amendment, Holy Ghost, hallelujah, I get excited, praise God. 2006, praise God, we're trying to move out and move forward, and here we are today, still trying to move out, still trying to move forward, but we're thankful and grateful that everyone recognizes the struggle that we're in, and praise God, it's got to come to the point where, we're, where we are standing on holy ground, knowing that there are angels all around. Come on, and let us stand, and know that we're standing on holy ground. Hallelujah. On Christ the solid rock I stand. Let me stop there. In the existing generations, enter on the enjoyment of those that are gone. Praise him. Praise him. It's not a day of praise for loved ones that were snatched. It's not a day of praise, but it is a day where we're looking to praise you in all essence of the word. Father, we're looking for that day when we come together that all God's children, black and white, Hallelujah. Green in his sight. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, God, we're looking for that day. That day, Father God, when we are together once more. Father, when we are gathered around your throne. Oh, God, we're looking forward to that day. That day, Father God, when we can look to the hills when cometh our help, knowing all of our help comes from the Lord. God, it's on that day. That day, Father God. That day. Hallelujah. Throw it to your name, God. Wonderful Savior. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. Ladder. We're going higher every day. So God, in your infinite wisdom. So God, we thank you. We believe you. We are trusting you for a breakthrough. Thank you, God. There's a breakthrough coming through. There's a breakthrough coming through. Father, you said restoration. You said be patient. You said men ought, ought always to pray. Father God, we believe all your promises from Genesis to Revelations and then those round and about. We believe you, God. We believe you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We believe you. Whose report will we believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says, I am free. His report says, I am healed. His report says, we're walking in victory. We must walk in victory. We must walk integral to who we are as a people. Thank you, Jesus. Contrast in character. What, what, what a disabled man Isaac is when he tells lies to the king of the Philistines. Then he goes out hunting as if he deserved to eat water in the land. With, and, and secondly, amen, calls the wells under the names which his father Abraham had given them, calling those names. Names are significant. Names are important. And we praise and we thank God for the humility that God has blessed me with to be working with Hallelujah, while we are here. His father Abraham had given the names. What contradictions we are telling lies to a living king and simultaneously pouring out a dead water. 
Thank you, Lord. They also look upon the right. And we thank God for being a right now judge. Thank God for being a righteous judge. We thank God that even though that there were decisions made in the court system yesterday, praise God, we must adhere to the guidance from our leader, amen, and understanding that our leader first and foremost is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we thank God and we lift up holy hands in the sanctuary and we bless the name of the Lord one more time. One more time, God. Here we go again reaching. Here we go again preaching. Here we go again lifting up the name of Jesus. So we're expecting the dy dynamics of, of healing and, and deliverance for our nation. Father God, this civil unrest, oh God, civil unrest, Oh, Father God, we're binding no more, no more, hallelujah, no more deaths in the name of Jesus. No more deaths in the name of Jesus. And Father, we're just believing you that you'll get the glory, honor, and the praise all day long by being here on the line. Thank you, Jesus, for two hours of consecration today. Two hours of consecration today. And we're thankful for it. We're thankful for it. Thank you for it. Thank you for the consecration. Thank you for it. Thank you that we can move in it. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the families. Bless them, God. Thank you for all three families in the name of Jesus, but more so the families, hallelujah, of Greater Harvest and the families around this world, families around this globe. We speak peace. We speak peace. We speak peace as we're marching through hallelujah, what seems to be the most dangerous times in all of our lives. Because this represents, praise God, a changing, a changing and a shifting. And nothing can change without a bearing. Hallelujah. Nothing can change unless the power of God literally come out and change. So the power of God change comes from the inside. And uh, I remember the secretary of prisons when I once was with him and we were at the round table and he mentioned the fact that behavior changed because of the consistency in the message that the church brought. Hallelujah. He didn't come right out and say, I don't want it. But he basically said that what happened, we are going to have to move forward in it and understanding that God, God is able. So saints, we thank you. We have a special guest tomorrow and we'll get, we'll get some more excitement, hallelujah, in you and through you, through the word of God and just talking about things. Our nation is hurting. Our nation is travailing with pain. And again, we can't call out the names enough. We cannot call out uh, Brooks, amen. We cannot call out Floyd, we cannot call out Taylor, we cannot call out uh, Avery. Saints of the Most High God, we got to call those names out, call those families out. Yes, we want justice. Yes, we want peace. Yes, we want God to move on our behalf. The indictment is on the church. The government was never assigned to save. Amen. Amen. We've been assigned to save. Hallelujah. And only Jesus saves. But we've been assigned, amen, to, 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 to do that. The church has an assignment to shine the light. Amen. So nothing is kept in the dark. We want to shine the light of the word here and there so we can move in and move out in God. We thank you today. And we're looking forward to next week, praise God. I'm sorry, we're looking forward to tomorrow, looking forward to next week too. But we're looking forward to tomorrow to see what are we going to have in a surprise on tomorrow. God bless you. And this is Living Health Quality. And we're believing God all the way for the change. You are the change that you have been looking for and now put yourself in the hands of God and watch God use you like never before because God wants to use you as never, never, never before. So hallelujah. We thank you for being with us on today. And like I said, exciting times tomorrow, exciting time tomorrow as we interface and interact with each other, believing and trusting God for all that God has done through us and in us. Once again, hallelujah, once again, the Lord 
of heaven is with us. And we thank God for God being with us on today. Most of all, we thank God for you. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. This is awesome what God is doing. And we're believing God, trusting God all of the way. Yes, we are. All of the way. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. You know, there's nothing greater than God. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than God. And we are thankful and grateful that we serve a risen Savior on today. So we lift up holy hands and we bless you. Hallelujah. Lift up holy hands and we clap our hands before the Lord. Greater is he that has been us than he that is within this world. So we are excited about everything that God has, everything that God will do. Are you excited too? Are you excited? Well, we have to be excited because God operates from a place of joy and excitement. So Jesus, be a fence all around us and Lord, keep us every, 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 every day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, saint to the most high God. Is he, is he able? Yes, he is. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ask or even think. And the Lord bless and keep you. Heaven smile and face upon you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.